We have finally gotten to Winden, and um, I just gotta check in the stadium and then claim my title as champion of this region. The Nuzlocke's been going surprisingly well, but I will say I do suspect that something really, really bad is going to happen any second now. I'm talking like some Team Rocket stuff. Okay, nothing's happened yet. Oh, there's a Pokemon Center right here. Oh, and, and there's literally a Corviknight right here. Wait, why? No, no. I, I don't. Why would I need this thing? No. I can just walk around. Um, let's see. Is there anything in the Pokemon market that I might need? Probably not. I guess I could grab a few full restores because you never know what's going to happen right now. Okay, that's all I can afford right now. Three. I think my team is uh, ready. They're as ready as Frank will ever be, which isn't too ready. But uh, if it wasn't for Frank, we wouldn't be here. We would not have ever defeated Nessa. He would have destroyed everything with Dreadnought. Okay, we're finally here. Wait, wait, it's that one guy that I really don't like talking to. But he always gives you a Pokeball. You always gotta skip through this. He makes me uncomfortable. A Dream Ball? What does this do? Catch Wall po Oh, well, there, I guess that's clever. Very clever. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Let's do this. David, correct. We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is just a formality, of course, but I'll need to check your gym badges if you don't mind. Oh, oh no, they're all fake. What am I going to do? He just said something about B-Day, but I didn't read it. And it's probably nothing important. Yeah, so this is actually happening. Attention, gym challengers who have made it through the gym challenge. The semifinals will start soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. What does that even mean? Semifinals. Um, okay, so I should probably determine... Okay, yeah, well, I am ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. So here's the team, in case you're new here. We got Pan, uh, Maito, Sandy, Frank. We all know Frank. Santa Claus and Nesso. You know, I'm going to start with Santa Claus. Because Santa Claus knows Stealth Rock, so I'll just do that. Because I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I'm assuming it's supposed to be some kind of Elite Four thing. Hello. Okay, I'm not authorized. So yeah, it's just a top eight semifinals. Wait, no. That'd be quarterfinals. This whole thing is messed up. Wait, I'm ready. Hello? Who will win among the four who can... Wait, so, so, so there is four. So, okay, this picture is just inaccurate. You gotta fix that. Wait, just because I'm curious. Um, He's also curious. So there's only four people that completed this whole gym challenge. Who could that have possibly have been? We got me, Marnie, Hop, and B-Day, I bet. Wait, no, not B-Day. That guy got disqualified for uh, vandalism in that one place. All right, who are we up against? Oh, Marnie. Okay, cool. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know that there's been a lot between us with my big brother, Team Yell, helping Spike Muth and all that. Yeah, there should probably be a lot more challengers here. But the truth is, when all is said and done, I just really want to become the champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. That's the most savage thing she said all entire game. Well, um, I hope you enjoy Stealth Rocks. Oh, it's the amazing theme. Oh, it's slightly different now that we're in the finals now. Okay, a Leopard? That's nothing that I am afraid of, for sure. Let's see what level that thing is. Because something tells me my Pokemon are kind of strong. Oh yeah, Dynamax. I forgot about that. I got to win this if I want to be the champion. Level 47. Okay, so I am not that afraid of you. Let's just go ahead and set up these Stealth Rocks. Nasty Plot. All right, I'm a little afraid of you right now. I wasn't ready for a special attacker. My thing... I literally taught this Santa Claus guy will o -Wisp just in case, um, I don't know, I could, I could like burn a physical attacker right after I set up these stealth rocks, but I guess that's not going to be happening. I mean, certainly a heat crash should do a lot of damage, right? I mean, this thing is, okay, it wants to go for torment, that's fine with me. I mean, Leapbird's probably got to weigh like 10 pounds, let's see how much this does. Santa Claus is like 700 pounds. And down goes the Leaper. We are starting off strong. I was a little worried as soon as I saw a nasty plot. Whenever I see them use some kind of setup move, I'm scared. Scrafty. Oh, okay. I got the Pokemon just for you. Let's go into Pan right now. That's a fighting type right there. 
Fighting does not do too good against me. Wait, no, I'm part steel. Oh, no. And I don't resist dark no more. Oh, no. That's okay. I was going to go into this regardless and start setting up home claws and, uh, you know, the whole drill. No pun intended, but I am going to go for drill peck very soon. Does it know intimidate? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. So it probably has, uh, I believe, shed skin. So home claws should be more than enough to take care of uh, Marnie's literally whole entire team. Scary face. Oh, no. Great, now I'm going to get hit by everything at least once. Hopefully they don't hit me too hard. Alright, goodbye Scrafty. Oh, I'm still faster, are you kidding me? Dude, Scrafty is so slow. You should have taught that thing Dragon Dance, man. Then it would have been a real threat. Okay, we got more Pico. I still have no idea what type of Pokemon this is. It's either Dark, Electric, or both. Is she going to talk right now? Oh, that's right. The Stealth Rock's coming through for me. Oh, neither is effective. That's that's great. Uh, okay, well, it's probably going to survive this Drill Peck, though. Torment? Wait, am I going to be allowed to use Drill Peck? Yeah, I am. Nice one. I guess it doesn't apply until after the fact. Okay, well, I just one-shot that thing. I'm telling you, man, those Stealth Rock's coming through right now. Santa Claus did find something useful to, to do. Toxicroak. Oh, that is a fighting type, my friend. Her theme sounds almost exactly the same as what I've heard the whole entire game. Oh, that's right. I can't do that. Is it the same theme? I can't even really tell. All right, let's see if she survives this. Oh my god, she couldn't even survive a Steel Wing. Steel Wing is terrible. Why do I even have Steel Wing? I'm in the championship and I still have that... That terrible, useless move. Alright, who's your final Pokemon? Grimmsnarl. Hey, you got good taste in Pokemon. I actually have one of those myself. I got everyone's back cheering me on. Sure. I, I, that's not even what she said, but I, I basically uh, got close enough. So her final Pokemon was level 49. I remember Raihan's final Pokemon was 48. So, mm, interesting. I thought these guys would be a lot more stronger. My bro might not use it, but I'll Gigantam- Oh, I totally forgot about that. And another thing is she used Scary Face on me, so, uh... I hope I can take a hit from this thing. What the heck is that monster? That doesn't even look like Grim Snarl anymore. He looks completely different. Oh my god, that's actually really intimidating. That's like something you see in Dark Souls. I worked really hard training my favorite move, just so I could use it in a battle against you. What, 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 what could that move possibly be? G-Max Snooze. Am I about to go to sleep? Please. Okay, that did a decent amount of damage, I'm not gonna lie. Please don't put me to sleep. I got drowsy. Are you kidding me right now? And it survived, no. Alright, well, certainly I can live another shot from this thing. I can't go for another drill pet because of the thing. A FULL RESTORE! Not a single gym leader this whole entire playthrough has pulled that one on me. Wait a sec, you're a, you're a fairy. <laughs> oh, silly, silly Marnie. Down goes the Dynamax, or in this case, Gigantamax. Nice one. And I just learned what Gigantamaxing was in the last episode. Alright, well that went surprisingly extremely well. Okay, so I lost, but I got to see a lot of the good points of you and your Pokemon. Thanks. Somebody respects my abilities around here. Everyone in the stadium was watching us during all that. Yeah, she doesn't say G's for some reason. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. Think I'll join my brother in the stands, and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you, see ya. Huh, okay. Well, at least she was being honest back there. David! Oh, it's his, this guy, I forgot. I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing the way you battle, I can't accept any outcome besides winning this match. My team is on fire. Oh. Well, I, I think I know who I'm going to battle next. I'm confused. Isn't it supposed to be like an Elite Four or not? Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handily, so as soon as you, you're ready, we like you back on the pitch. Cool! It's already time to battle yet again. Um, 
Oh wait, my Pokemon are back at full. That is very nice. Huh. So I guess this isn't an Elite Four thing, because an Elite Four thing is you fight the Elite Four and then you fight the champion, but it sounds like I'm just gonna destroy Hop right now and then uh, challenge Leon. Wait, is uh, Santa Claus out in front again? Yeah, he is. Okay, cool. And, yeah, and if you notice, I actually put a Focus Sash on him, just in case I ran into, I don't know, a Water type or a Ground type move or something. That would be very, very bad. All right, so time to destroy Mr. Hop right now. Nothing personal though. I still wonder where B Day is right now. Um. Okay, I just had this sort of flashback, you know. Remember when we were still in Postwick? When we got our Pokemon from Lee that day? I never would have dreamed that I'd end up standing here, facing you of all people. Same. I don't know how you got here, Hop. But it's time I finished what started that day. Got it? The one who will become champion is me. Alright, man, we'll see about that. I remember he had... His team is actually interesting. It kept changing. Wait, what's going on? Whoa, I've never seen Hop this serious the whole entire game. He means business. He only has five Pokemon, though. Dubwool? Okay, he brought back the, the this thingy. What level is this Dubwool? Oh, that's right. Somebody's going to get huge this battle. We battled back in the garden, but I'm really fired up for this match in the stadium. Oh, yeah, we've never battled in the stadium. That thing's level 48. Um, yep, same thing. We're going to go for Stealth Rocks right now just to help me out. Cotton Guard. That is actually kind of disgusting. Why are my opponents setting up with <laughs> on the very first turn? Drastically. Oh, that's plus three. Oh, no. Great. Now this thing's going to be the ultra tank of the world. Let's go for Will-O-Wisp right now. Okay, he really just did that. He went for two Cotton Guards. So his defense is like completely maxed out right now. That is actually kind of disgusting. Please don't miss. Good. All right, let's go ahead and burn this thing. Just to get some residual damage, and I'm assuming that it's a <clears throat> probably a physical attacker. So on that note, let's just go straight into Pan right now. And then, um... Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. I, I, was, I forgot what Hop's starter Pokemon was. For a second, I thought it was Score Bunny, but wait. That was mine, but uh, Score Bunny's not here anymore because of reasons that we don't want to talk about. Zen Headbutt, that's going to do absolutely nothing, Hop. I hope you understand that. Yeah, that did six. And that was a crit. Let, let everyone sink that into their, their cranium right now. All right, a crit. Wow, they actually came up with a, a dialogue speech thing just for, in case he actually got a crit. All right, well, guys, you have to remember, this thing is literally at plus um, four. So, um... Yeah, let's go for a home clause, and then this will, <clears throat> with a couple more of these, this should be enough to take out this dub wool as soon as, and as, wait, what am I trying to say? It's going to take out the dub wool and then clean up the rest of his entire team. Please don't paralyze me, thank you. So he has Body Slam, Cotton Guard, Zen, Headbutt, and that's it, I guess. So uh, his team was not uh, <clears throat> very prepared for all this nonsense. I think one more home clause should do. Um, I, I understand that thing has a tremendous amount of defense, but uh, it can't take many more hits for me. Please don't paralyze me. Please. Please. Alright, good. I'm actually surprised that I didn't get paralyzed. It, this whole battle's been going pretty well, and I didn't miss will o -Wisp. For me, that's a tall order. Let's just go... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna go for Steel Wing. Maybe I can raise my defense. Okay, that didn't do as much as I thought. Oh no, he's gonna do it again. Please don't paralyze me. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, Pop, uh, I believe this is the end for you. Let's let's go ahead and take that thing out of the Drill Peck. Drill Peck does slightly more damage than Steel Wing, so this thing is definitely going to go down. Yep. <clears throat> and with a plus two as well as having Stealth Rocks up, oh my god, Hop. I hope you got a great plan. Pinchurin, what the heck is that thing? Oh, that's right. This is your team hop? Are you kidding me? You brought this thing to the final battle, a Pinchurin? I get this thing confused with Pumuku Yuku Yuku, which almost got a KO on me during this playthrough. I remember that. <clears throat> Thunderbolt, uh oh. Okay, that actually did a decent amount. How's that? I learned a lot by studying Lee's old matches. Yes, yes, yes. We, we understand. You are his biggest fan. However, that's not going to come and save you today. 
surprised that thing did that much damage. A full restore. Hey, that's cool with me. You're just giving me more opportunities to raise my defense with Steel Wing as well as, um... Steel... Wait, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, leftovers. That's right. <laughs> I'm still healing while he he's healing. And uh, if he if he used that one already, that's probably his only full restore, I'd imagine, because Marnie only had one. <clears throat> Down goes this thing. I can't believe he brought that thing, of all things. Like, shouldn't he be bringing, like, scary Pokemon or something? I don't know what's going through Hop's mind right now, but, uh, it's not gonna end well for him. Snorlax. See, normally that would have been pretty scary, but, uh, like I said earlier, it's it's kind of over for you. I, I got the Stealth Rocks up. I've literally got, uh, I believe 22 levels. Yeah, 22 levels. I'm at plus two. Stab, Drill, Peg, goodbye, Snorlax. There's no way he's living this. Nope, not even Snorlax. Snorlax has like 50,000 health, and he just got one shot by that. Was it really a one shot if we're counting Stealth Rocks? Nah, it would have it would have KO'd him otherwise. <clears throat> a Corviknight! Okay, now we're talking! Which means that his last Pokemon's gonna be, um... What's it called? Oh, that's right, the Grass Pokemon, uh, Rillaboom. <laughs> that thing's gonna get absolutely destroyed by a Drill Peck. And this Corviknight should go down in two. Oh my god, almost went down in one. Oh, it was a crit. <laughs> scary face? Oh no. Why is everyone using scary face on me today? <clears throat> and they keep doing it on my Corviknight. Pan has had enough of your shenanigans. Well, just in case. Because we know that that last Pokemon is going to Dynamax. Let me just go for a Steel Wing. Let's see how much that Drill Peck does. That Drill Peck did 12. I do believe my Leftovers does, uh, I think, 14. So, uh... Your Corviknight was not quite enough, Chief. <clears throat> you know, if this actually was a hardcore Nuzlocke, this would actually be quite difficult, because Raihan's um, final Pokemon was 48. So, after you defeat Raihan, there's not much level training that you can do before you show up here and, and fight all these guys. <clears throat> yep, see, 49, that's not much, unless the, the next person... That I have to battle in like the 50s or something. But uh, you know what? Just because I know I'm going to get healed up. I'm going to just put an end to this right now. Release all the thoughts. Pour into my wishing star. Time for a Dynamax. Oh man, Hop. Look, I get you're going to get big and strong and huge. Look, he, he looks so excited right now. What is wrong with his... Are those his... Is that his tongue or something? <clears throat> I've been trying to figure out this whole playthrough. Well, it doesn't matter because... Even with me being slower, he's going to hit me with something, and I'm going to quad resist it, probably. Max Darkness. Okay, I was wrong. I'm not going to quad resist it. <clears throat> Let's see how much that does. That did, like, 20. Um, unfortunately, free... Wait, 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 what? Oh, Spadef? Oh, that... <laughs> da oh, my God! Hop was not ready for all that. I knew you'd be aiming for a super effective hit. A hop. It, it is a little too late for, for the dialogue, man. You just got one shot. <laughs> Man. Poor, poor Hop. <clears throat> I lost a lot of HP from that. And yet another victory under my belt. <clears throat> hey, I will say, like I, like I keep saying, if this was actually hardcore, this would probably be difficult. He, he gave us less money than, than Marnie. I was about to say, I think Marnie was more difficult. And the victor of the semifinals, the challenger... Who has won their way through all of the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenge is Challenger David. Yay! So I guess Leon's next. You know, even when Sonia was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes, I really never felt like one. <clears throat> but you, mate, I think maybe you could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, David. And Colossal and the rest of your team. Colossal? You're not going to bring up the Corviknight that just... Okay, whatever. Colossal came through, guys. Oh, I'm not even in my uniform anymore. <clears throat> Look who it is. So what? It's not even the Elite Four. It's just the Elite Two. David, that was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there was even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. He was crying, guys. <laughs> to think that the two of you set out together from the same town, built up the greatest teams, and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. That burning desire to win. Those moves filled with undefeatable passion. It was battling at its very purest in every possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you were fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first. You, you mean like B-Day? That was you, Lee. 
<clears throat> well, then all the more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we've got in us to defeat our challenger, which is me. And that challenger standing before us might well end up being you, David. Well, what do you mean? Wait, well, what? It might not? Wait, I thought it was going to be me. He made it sound like it might not be me. Is there more? Okay, well, Hop is completely exhausted. Best to refill your energy stores first. Why don't we get some dinner tonight? Um... Okay, this is strange. This is an interesting turn of events. We're not just going to battle Leon like I thought. But there were only four gym challengers. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here's this hotel that was in town. And uh, I walked inside here, went in the lobby, and instantly walked right out. So I guess this is like the Badoo Inn from, uh, from that one place. Challenger David. Hey, Challenger David. Got some time for questions. First question, you and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in a sense, wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated your rival? Um, I'm glad I could beat him. It doesn't quite feel real yet. It was just luck that I won. <clears throat> um, let, let's let's tell them that. I mean, I this was I, I would been uh, this would have been shocking if I lost. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? Uh, you need to go to the wild area and level grind your Pokemon. I thank him for the great match. I tell him how strong he was. That he was just the rival I knew he was. I thank him for the great match, yeah. It was a pretty good match for me. Level with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals too. Um, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know what this guy's bringing. He could show up with level 100 Pokemon. Yep. I've had enough of these rude questions. Thank you very much, Hop. Let's go eat. I need food. I'm hungry. Ew, famous people sure have it rough. Oh man, I'm famous now. This is this is just really embarrassing now. <clears throat> Several hours later. This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day, and he did just that. He ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. Maybe something really bad happened. Oh, look, it's Piers. Kid sure got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know? Oh, pack it in, Piers. I'm seriously worried here. So I don't need to see your smug mug looking like you're having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me... Do these two have a problem with one another? Judging by appearance, no wonder you lost to your mates. Oh, man. <laughs> If you're looking for the champion, I saw him head into Rose Tower. Why would he go there? Don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the monorail platform. He said to tell you that he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late. But why Rose Tower? What could he have to do there at this hour? Probably something really bad happened. Here's do us a favor. Take us there. Would you neither David nor I know the way? Do you know the way? Sheesh, what rude siblings always so demanding of others. Though I suppose it's a real problem for me too if the finals are held up for any reason. And I don't really hate the two of you little runts. You were good enough to beat me after all. So I think I'll invite Team Yell along. And we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Should I be worried? Brilliant, you're the best, Piers. Let's go make a real ruckus. You guys are making me worried right now. Like, extremely worried. 